Hi, it's Richard Taylor here at the Weta Workshop in Wellington. First off, a big hello to all of you up there at this year's Spelled Conference. I've heard that many of you have travelled a long way to be here, so it's fantastic that I get the small chance to firstly welcome you to the wonderful country of New Zealand, and secondly, share some opening thoughts about this year's conference. Here at the Weta Workshop, we celebrate the differences and strengths of our team, many of whom have been faced with their own specific learning disabilities. Each new project challenges all of us, and I'm constantly inspired by these tenacious professionals who continue to push through their own personal barriers to excel in their craft. It is a wonderful thing to see and a true inspiration to me and all of my colleagues here at the workshop. But I guess we all beg the question, so what of the next generation of artists and craftspeople? I think we probably all share the opinion that in our public schooling system, large class numbers exert great pressure on our precious teaching resource. In turn, teachers are challenged daily to fulfill the expectations of any student, let alone one faced with learning difficulties. I certainly find this quite troubling, as I'm sure many of you do also. I'm of the opinion that with the right one-on-one -on -one focus, acknowledgement and assistance, any young person who has not immediately found their academic stride can still become an impactful member of New Zealand society, a society that passionately endorses and celebrates diversity, a society that wants to accommodate those that are not like all the others, people that can distinguish themselves by being wonderfully unique in the way that they think and the way that they just simply do. With this in mind, it's hugely reassuring to know that so many passionate professionals have gathered today in an effort to make a difference in the lives of New Zealanders who struggle daily with dyslexia, dyscalculia and other specific learning disabilities. I can only imagine the challenges you must face, not only with our young people, but also with their parents, who are no doubt immensely frustrated and upset to see their children in distress. Your commitment shows that you care deeply. The support and understanding each of you provides not only promotes academic achievement, but also helps build the confidence and self-belief of New Zealand's next generation. I know that you are all doing this day in and day out with passion, tenacity and enthusiasm, three things that are incredibly important to me and the rest of our workshop crew, a crew that have never viewed their potential lack of academic prowess in any way that may restrict their desire to indelibly brand their mark on the world stage through their unique talents and attributes. Have a great conference and a big cheers to all of you from all of us here at the Weta Workshop.